Hey guys, my name is Ken. In this video today, we're gonna talk about investing in small cap stocks. You learn what are small cap stocks, example of such stocks and funds, and most importantly, how to evaluate a small cap stock. Before we go, just trade the like button and invest in subscription to the channel. You're also welcome to support the channel. All the links are down in the description. Some of the best investment stories of the past 25 years started with investors who recognized the potential of a small cap stock. Just think of being an early investor in a company like Amazon, which was a $7 stock in 1998, or Tesla, which had a market cap of just over $1 billion in 2010. Of course, not every small cap stock becomes a giant. Investing in the stocks of small companies can be very rewarding, but it comes with risks that investors need to understand. Here's a closer look at what small cap stocks are, how to choose the best ones, and how to figure out if they are right for you. Put your seat belts on and let's go. Let's start with what are small cap stocks. Small cap stocks are stocks of companies with a small market capitalization. The cap in small cap. We say that a stock is a small cap stock when the total value of all the company shares outstanding, meaning the shares held by all shareholders, including company insiders, falls roughly between $300 million and $2 billion. If you remember, we reviewed large cap stocks and the categories in this video. Let's refresh our memories. Micro cap companies are those companies whose market caps are less than $300 million. And then come small cap companies with $300 million to $2 billion. And in the middle, there's mid cap companies from $2 billion to $10 billion, large cap companies up to $200 billion, and mega cap companies with more than $200 billion market cap. Small cap companies are often young companies. They tend to have strong growth potentials, but also generally have less stability and market share than larger, more established companies. Investing in small cap stocks may be comparatively risky, but the rewards can also be greater. In general terms, the smaller the company, the greater the risk associated with investing in its stock. Micro cap stocks, the stocks of companies with market capitalization under $300 million, are considered by many as having too much risk. Since 2000, small cap stocks have outperformed large cap stocks by an average of 2% per year. But over shorter periods, I mean 3 to 5 years, that same is not always true. The prices of small cap stocks tend to be more volatile than those of larger companies and the stock's values fluctuate more dramatically. The longer the evaluation period, the greater likelihood that small cap stocks outperform the larger caps. In early 2020, small cap stocks performance was trailing behind that of the large caps. The small caps proceeded to lose much more of their value during the stock market crash in March 2020. The small caps also recovered faster and their values surged after Pfizer and BioNTech together announced that they had successfully developed the coronavirus vaccine. As further proof that small cap stocks are performing well in the recovery, the small cap focus Russell 2000 index grew by 18.3% in 2020, while the large cap focus S&P 500 gained just 16.3%. Despite the Russell 2000 index beating the S&P 500 for 2020, during most of last year large cap companies outperformed the small caps. Large companies are more likely to be profitable, have more cash on their balance sheets, and can access external capital more easily. All of these advantages make their stocks less risky investments in a crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic. Many investors seeking to protect their portfolios during the early stages of the crisis likely moved money out of small cap stocks and moved into the large caps. The reason that the Russell 2000 index ultimately outperformed the S&P 500 for the year is because with the market recovering, investors are buying small cap stocks again. This resurgence in the popularity of small cap stocks is causing them to regain loss value faster faster than their large cap counterparts. Now when we talked about what are small cap stocks, let's review some top notch small cap stocks. Many small cap stocks aren't household names, at least not yet. Here are some small caps to consider. First one is carparts.com. This is an auto parts company. Formerly known as US Auto Parts, carparts.com has recently transformed under new management 
which is investing in technology and marketing and just opened two new distribution centers. By consolidating its web brands under only carparts.com banner, the company has shifted to a singular branding strategy. Sales actually have surged during the pandemic, which has boosted both e-commerce and auto parts sales. Cash-strapped consumers are more often choosing to repair existing vehicles rather than buy new ones. And even after the pandemic, the online retailer's turnaround efforts should continue to drive growth, as the auto parts sector is ripe for disruption. Next one is ACM Research. This is a manufacturer of cleaning equipment for semiconductor wafers making it a picks and shovels play in the semiconductor industry. Investing in ACMR provides exposure to a high growth industry without having to worry about commodity cheap prices declining. Additionally, ACM is an American company but conducts most of its business in China, giving its investors a relatively safe way to gain exposure to the Chinese market. And here's another one is YEX. YEXT helps to ensure that the information online about companies like restaurants and hotels is current and accurate. Have you ever searched for a restaurant's menu or location only to find that it's outdated? YEX service has become even more valuable during the pandemic as many businesses have been temporarily forced to close. If you don't want to guess at which small cap stocks are the best for your portfolio, you can instead gain exposure to small cap companies by investing in a fund that focuses exclusively on small caps. Here are a couple of options. One is iShares Russell 2000 ETF. This is an exchange traded fund that tracks the performance of the Russell 2000 index. If you are not sure what is Russell 2000 index, I would recommend to watch the stock market indexes video right up here. This stock index considered the leading index of a small cap stocks. Another one is Fidelity Small Cap Growth Fund. The ticker is FCPGX. This is an annual fund that invests in small cap stocks that have high growth potential. It's actively managed, meaning that its manager actively monitors and adjusts the fund's holdings in order to beat the Russell 2000 index. In order to beat the Russell 2000's performance, the fund's fees are somewhat higher than those of an index fund, but being actively managed produced, theoretically at least, superior returns that more than cover those fees. And if you are interested how to find these small cap stocks, how to evaluate a small cap stock, here's an information for you. Top small cap companies often exhibit the six characteristics of disruptive businesses that are defined by Gardner. This is a founder of Motley Fool. If you know this website, number one is its leaders are visionaries. Strong leaders envision ways of doing business that are new and different and create opportunities. These leaders can explain their visions in compelling ways. Second characteristic is that the company enjoys a first mover advantage. A company that is first to move into a new market or product category typically benefits from an advantage over its competitors. Next one is that the company's competitive advantages are obvious. These advantages may include network effects like those enjoyed by Facebook and Uber, high switching costs which make it difficult for consumers to switch to the company's competitors, or a well-known brand. Another characteristic is that its branding is strong and loved by customers. A strong brand imparts a sense of meaning for customers. Passionate or enthusiastic customers are more likely to exhibit loyalty to the company. Next thing is that the company has a track record of rewarding investors. The company's management values its shareholders, which it demonstrates by rewarding them with above average returns and perhaps also dividends and share buyback. And also the important thing is that the company is not without its detractors. A company with high growth potential often receives the critique that its stock price is too high. This is actually a good sign if the above characteristics are also present because it means that other investors are starting to recognize the company's potential 
not just its performance to date. Usually, the top small cap stocks also have histories of earnings and revenue growth, ones that don't deserve closer scrutiny. So, should you invest in small cap stocks? Ask yourself some questions, for example, are you willing to hold an investment for several years? Or are you comfortable with stocks in your portfolio experiencing big price swings both up and down? Are you sure? If yes, then small cap stocks might have place in your portfolio. As we have all seen, small cap stocks can boost your portfolio's overall growth rate as long as you stick with a buy and hold strategy. But remember, small cap companies are more likely to fail than large established companies, as was recently demonstrated during the pandemic. It's important to conduct the necessary research before investing in a small cap stock. Of course, you don't personally have to pick individual small cap stocks to benefit from their presence in your portfolio. Owning a small cap mutual fund or ETF as part of a diversified portfolio is a viable option for many investors too. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite small cap stock. Here are more other videos about personal finance and investments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.